at some point, an idea hits me. Um, I don't know, it's that eureka moment, an epiphany. I was in a poetry workshop and we were learning about Nobel Prize winning poets. How interesting would it be to take a well-known game mechanic, like a Japanese role-playing game, and instead of you know saving the world as this ultimate hero, you're instead journeying across the world to find the knowledge of poetry or what poetry means. Usually it starts with brainstorming um, on a large dry erase board and then write them out. And then at, at each step, I usually try and get feedback. I have a partner I really love working with and when we are brainstorming, we're usually asking a question, like how do we effectively teach X? And that's usually where I like to start with a learning goal. Game designers get, uh, get their ideas from a lot of places. Um, Commonly, they'll start with a goal or a rule or a game mechanic or some sense of space like a board or a setting, or they'll start with a story or characters. Um, I think you can start with any of those. Whenever I'm somewhere doing something, regardless if it's thinking, regardless if it's creating one game or writing a poem or looking at art in a museum or riding the subway, I think that ideas just come naturally and they just come out of nowhere. I actually keep a notepad in the shower now. <laughs> um, there are these really great little notepads that have uh, water resistant pencils. I just take care of that in the moment. Some of the bigger breakthroughs for, for games that I've worked on come in a group setting where we all start to discuss and, and really a lot of times argue over different mechanics within the game and it really is, is a fruitful way of, of discussing the, the game. There's something very free about the brainstorming process and sometimes I'm in an interesting position because I'm both a designer on the concept end but oftentimes I'm a person that's like implementing the design when it comes to the actual production so that's a difficult balance for me personally because the brainstorm process is so freeing and once you're really into a brainstorm process you'll have ideas of things that are just going to be amazing once they're done and that you're so excited about. Sometimes in the design process it's really hard to have a maturity level to put a pin in a really great and exciting idea that you're going to go back and revisit. I get a lot of uh, ideas from a mechanic, something that I see out there in the world and I think it'd be cool to to learn more about that by making a game where I can play with it. Towards the end of the brainstorming process, I'm always really looking for clarity and a way to simplify my ideas and find the real strong, important parts. Oftentimes you can go back after a game's been wrapped and revisit those ideas and they've lost the magic and the energy that was behind them originally in the brainstorm, so they might not seem as great. But I've also gone back and find, found teeny little sketches with like, rabid scribbling that are actually really fun having had the time to breathe.